Hey, what's up, y'all? It is Klautos again with episode number five of Fantasia. And here we are walking through what we did on the last episode with the beginning of our village. I have added a new building right here. And uh, I ended up using just the path blocks for now. I might go back and change it, but I really like the way the path blocks look. And I also like that when they're up next to grass blocks, uh, the value of them decreases a little bit. They get a little bit darker. I like that. Um, and I also stuck with the, uh, with the oak here because it blends well with the path blocks. I might change it later to make the path out of something different. I tried a few other uh, combinations of blocks and wasn't really too happy with them. So this will work for now, um, and it is always open to change. So this building is new, and this is something I, I needed to do. And if you know what this is, awesome. If you don't, this is an AFK fish farm, which is uh, pretty cool. So it's in this little building here. So I'll come in here and get my fishing rod. Oh, wait, I got stuff. I had to kill a few mobs because it was just nighttime and yeah. <laughs> so you just stand here with your fishing rod, you aim through the door at the frame, and there. And the sword begins to spin round and round and round. And uh, I did this for a while. I, I had 45 levels at one point. And uh, yeah, I needed to get some enchantments on my tools. I've got diamond tools now. So um, did a little bit of mining down in there and uh, down in there. <laughs> Uh, find some, found some diamonds relatively quickly, actually. And uh, so, yeah, everything we catch goes into that hopper, then into this chest, then into that hopper right there, and then into this chest. And uh, so, yeah, this is what we got. Um, and look at this. <laughs> All these enchanted books. Hooray! Okay. So, uh, anyway, so, yeah, I added that building. And... Uh, <clears throat> The other thing I want to show you guys is the thing we will be working on today. Now, I know I said that over there might be a good spot for it, but I think over here is a more sensible one. It's a little closer to everything, but this is going to be our lumber mill, and I started on the wheel um, uh, off camera because this thing, to get it right, took a, took a little bit of time, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So this is the saw right here that's going to be cutting all the wood. So I'll have some, some logs laying down across it like that. I still need to build the walls and the roof and, uh, and things like that. So, but yeah, that's uh, it's looking pretty good, I think. So yeah, let's 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 get a little bit more done on this. The the, the last thing I did was add the these uh, stone walls here, you know, so this thing isn't just floating there. And I should probably add some on the other side too, just uh, for good measure, you know. <laughs> did I did I get those? I did. Okay, good. All right, so let's put these. Well, hmm. Now I'm, now I'm having second thoughts about that. And this. I kind of want it to come out a little bit farther, but at the same time, the wall's going to be right here. So I want to be able to walk around it, I guess. Here's, here's what we'll do. Yeah, there was a, a lot of trial and error with this, <laughs> with this thing so far. Uh, I think the andesite works works quite well is sort of a sort of a pipe well, I don't know not, not a pipe but you know what I'm saying uh, it's carrying the power from the from the wheel over this way the reason why I decided to build the lumber mill over here is because over there it's more of a more of lake water and over here this part is more of a river see we got um, a waterfall over there and the water comes out this way. And then there's a little bit more water over here, but it's not connected. So this is this is just a little... Oh, it is connected. But it's connected over there. It's not connected over here. Oh, this is what I was talking about, yeah. This is just a little pond here, which I'm probably going to cover up. 
because I don't really like the way that looks. But so, so there's a river that goes out here as well as a waterfall. So the river continues on down that way. Uh, so the water is actually going to be flowing over here. Okay, so the wheel can pick up a current. And I imagine over there, the, the water wouldn't really be flowing so much. So having a wheel would not really make sense over there. Um, so yeah, I did a little bit of terraforming, quite a lot actually. Um, I got rid of the dark oak forest that was here. And let's go ahead and take a nap real quick. Oh, it's not night yet. Come on, come on. Anyway, so I got rid of the dark oak forest and I flattened out the ground here. This starting right about here, I think, uh, it came up quite a bit to match up with this over here. So all of this I peeled back and replaced all of the stone with dirt, which then turned into grass blocks and it looks spiffy now. So let's make it daytime again. And I think I think before I really start messing with this, I need some reference. So I'm going to go ahead and get the walls in. And I can't really decide if I want the place to come up like this with the elevation of the land here or not. That's kind of up in the air. But let's go ahead and try it um, up first. And then uh, we will... And then we'll try it down if, if it doesn't look right. So I went over into the mountains and got some spruce because I needed s another um, variation of color in order to make that wheel look right. So I went and got some spruce. And so that's what these, these outsides are made of. And then the dark oak is in the middle there. But uh, yeah, I think it looks nice. It's not perfect. It, it probably could be better. But uh It'll work for now, and I think it'll be fine once uh, once we get everything else built as well. You won't even be able to tell that that thing is screwed up. <laughs> uh, we don't have any... Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, we need to get some more stone. Cobblestone. Not you. And yeah, let's get rid of that and that. And we need another, we need more stone right there. So let's go grab some of that and we'll get our foundation finished. Right, where is it? I still have my fishing rod, I forgot to put it back. Oh well, no worries. Oh, wait, no, not there. Right? <laughs> Not that this matters. This is totally going to be covered up. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay, so there will be our foundation. So, and this is going to go up a level. Two levels, actually. So we're going to have to peel all this back. Okay. Let me get a little bit of this, uh, of this dirt out of here so we can see more of what we're doing. And I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, y'all, I am back. I got this peeled back a little bit. I think it looks nice and natural, at least natural for Minecraft. And yeah, so we'll have some room here to put some logs and maybe some, some tree stumps or something. I think also what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this land out. Because we need a little bit more land here. I'll probably bring it out, I don't know, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, we got plenty of room there that we can bring it out. Uh, I think when I'm building this, I'm going to do something a little different than I did up there. And I'm going to bring these studs out from the foundation one block and sort of just see what kind of, uh, well, <laughs> see what kind of, I know what kind of effect it's going to have, but uh, see what it looks like. It'll give the, uh, give the walls a little more dimension and uh, so they're not quite so flat. It's another way to 
to conquer the problem of the flat wall <laughs> is to do it like this so that needs to go there that's wrong that needs to go there okay and then I think we're gonna have to bring these up quite a bit because we have to house this entire thing so let's try one two three four five yeah six yeah we'll do six yeah that's good and then we'll have some beams going across that'll be that'll be fine okay so one two three four five six yeah uh, yeah I like this build already <laughs> I think it will look quite good when when we're finished with it was that six I lost count yeah it is yeah, it looks right okay well let me get all let me get the uh, the frame in place and I'll see you guys in a second okay y'all I got the frame in place I think it is looking nice and I ended up sticking with the um, the raised elevation right there I think uh, that's gonna add a cool little effect to the overall build so what I want to do with the walls is I'm not gonna put them right in between the studs instead I'm gonna bring them inside by one like this not like that that that's bad that that's not what I was gonna do what I meant to do was that <laughs> yeah so the walls will be like that and I'll probably have giant windows most of this is gonna be window um, one thing I don't like is that you can't you're not gonna be able to see the wheel you know, which kind of sucks, but oh well. <laughs> Whenever I'm over there building, you'll be able to see it from over there and, and stuff. Or I think, uh, oh, by the way, the uh, on this island, I'm going to put a big lighthouse. I think that's what needs to go there. So from the lighthouse, you'll be able to see the wheel. But from the town, not so much. Yeah, I think even the roof is going to cover up the top part of it. So it's going to be pretty much invisible from over here, but that's okay. Um, I thought about leaving this front section open, but I figure when when the loggers bring the wood in here, they're not going to want them to get all wet if it rains. Or, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter, but um, I figure they can bring wood in here, it'll be nice and dry, and then they can cut it and move it over there. And then once it's done, they can haul it out this way you know uh, back here is gonna be the wood storage area so this is where I'm gonna have all the chests for all my uh, wood materials anything made out of wood so um, the regular wood planks uh, slabs stairs doors you know things like that this is gonna be open uh, I was talking about the, like the roof and the walls before that's definitely going to go up. However, this front area is going to be open. So there isn't going to be anything, any walls here. So, yeah. Because th think of it like a, like a giant uh, warehouse door. You know, something like that. And I'm going to do something about the foundation here. I don't really want that exposed right there. I think that looks kind of crummy. I'll probably uh, bring the floor out, have it step down or something into, into this area. I brought the dirt back a little bit and I still have quite a ways to go. I really want to bring it out to about there or more, maybe even farther than that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. And the garbage truck is here. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you guys had to listen to that banging right there as they were picking up the trash cans. So, um, yeah, so I think this is going to look pretty good. I think oh wow look at that see that that's the, the speedy way to get the walls in oh wait I'm out I can mash it <laughs> uh, wait right there yeah that's good all the way around okay I'm gonna get these walls in place and I'll be back with you guys in a second and we will start on the roof Okay, I'm back. I got the walls done. Went ahead and added a little porch here because I figure, you know, the uh, the 
The guys who work here at the lumber mill probably want to show off their craftyman skills, so they'd probably want to have a nice little porch in front of their shop. And, uh, yeah, awesome. So I added some, uh, I forget what you call these, above the windows. Anyway, added some of those, some fences in the windows, because I just, I don't want to use glass in this town, because it's kind of a, not really a poor town, but, uh, I just don't think glass, I think glass would sort of destroy the the vibe of this place a little bit. A little, little too modern with the glass. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. And no windows here because this is where my chests are going to go. Probably on this wall. And this wall will have like a, a workbench or something, you know, for the, uh, for the guys to to do their stuff so yeah so now we got to get this roof going and I don't know that uh, it's pretty wide so it's wide but I don't want it to be tall so I think it's gonna be mostly a slab roof and I don't think I have yeah oh wait I already made them <laughs> I made them they're right here okay good so we have our dirt so we're gonna start right here in the corner just like we usually do bink 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 right there one more yeah so now do I want it all slabs or do I want it Ugh. yeah there we go uh, I, I like falling off stuff. I, I tend to do that a lot. So I think I might begin with stairs and then switch over to slabs. Do like one row of stairs maybe. And just see what that looks like. I think that might have... That might be okay. It might give it a nice sort of arc. Very, very subtle arc, but... We'll see. We'll do, uh, we'll do like that. We'll bring this all the way around. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And then I'll be back with you guys in a second to see how it looks. Okay, I got the roof done, and I like the way that is shaped. So... I still have to do the tops of the walls. I didn't want to do those until I got the roof done. That way I know how to uh, how to make them. But yeah, right here, it's uh, that needs to get filled in. And I'm missing a stair. Can I get it? No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'll get that later. Or maybe it'll despawn. I don't know. We'll see. This is what it looks like from the inside. It's coming along. Coming along. I think I'm going to take these beams here. And I think I'm going to bring them up and have them arch along with the roof. I think that would look a lot cooler like that. So, that's where we are at this moment. And once I finish the tops of the walls and fixing these beams, I'll be back and we can start working on the interior. And we can get this saw looking nice and get some other decorations, put some wood in here. And it'll be awesome. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, I am back. Just went down to the mines to get some stone with my silk touch. I got the top walls done, a little bit of decoration on the outside to get rid of the flatness again like we did on those houses. Uh, just a little bit of details up there in those corners. Put some uh, cobblestone walls, which are ugly. I've said that before. I still think so. However, they, they kind of have the effect of like these uh, garage doors, these accordion doors, you know. So I thought they looked kind of nice right there. And the inside has the arched uh, beams now, which is nice. And so I've got this log here that's in the process of being cut. So I know we've got a wheel there. Uh, we don't have a circular saw. We've got sort of a giant jigsaw happening here. <laughs> But uh, that's fine. That'll that'll be no problem whatsoever. I think. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Here we go. Yeah, I wanted to have some 
either stone in here like that maybe or because uh, this is like the the track where the uh, what is my problem this is like the track where the where the logs go so I wanted to have sort of a uh, no, something like that so I think now I want to get some stone bricks to do the outside of them wait we need to make uh, where are they I think they're here yeah let's make a bunch of these and then we'll make a bunch of these and that should be plenty right there and let's see how it looks when we get it all bling 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 yeah, I like that. Okay. Very cool. That works. That works. I think we can keep it just like that. So let's go all the way down and bring it to maybe there. There. And then let's fix these as well. Bring these back to the regular stone. There. So now we have sort of the uh, trough that the that the logs are going to go through when they get cut. So, and yeah, now we need a bunch of chests over there. And, but before we do that, I kind of want to, I extended the, the land out here. And I even went under the water and filled all that in. So there's no holes underneath it. So it almost looks natural natural enough I guess <laughs> so let's get some uh, some sort of log stacks like maybe this so we'll do um, like that maybe and we can get rid of those we really don't need anything in the bottom we're gonna conserve our wood so <laughs> it's gonna be kinda like this there we go right there and right there and oh crap didn't want to do that Ugh. right there let's take this one back Yeah, kind of like that. And then let's put another... Let's do... Uh... Yeah, like that. That'll work. And let's take these back. Yeah, so now we got some logs there. Ready to get cut. And let's put some... We'll put some rails on it, sort of bind it all together. Oop, where are we at? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Okay. And right there, there, and there. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So now it looks like a lumber mill. And I want to put some... Uh, put some stumps every once in a while too like right there we'll have, we'll have some like sort of scattered tree stumps like they've been chopping stuff down yeah something like that maybe and oh wait no not over here I wanted to have another log pile over on this side so let's go ahead and do one here um, this one doesn't have to be as long. There, just like that. There we go. This will be a short one, which is fine by me. Okay. Take these back. And... We have to do, there we go, like that, la 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 la, I know I'm probably boring the crap out of you guys doing this stuff, 
Uh, won't be too long though. Okay, there we go. Look at some rails. Bink, 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 bink. And it's almost nighttime. Oh, and I'm out of rails. Let's go take a nap. We'll put the rest of the rails up there. And then we'll be done with the outside. And then we just need to go get a whole bunch of chests for the inside. Uh, probably some other decorations. Not quite sure what's going to happen with the inside. But we shall find out. Oh, I need a stick. I think I just need one stick. Is that right? That is right. Awesome. Okay, hello, rails. Right, right there. Right there. Bink. Bink. Oh, right there. Sweet. Okay, y'all, I am back, and I believe... I believe... The lumber mill is done. And that's what it looks like from way over here. <laughs> By the island. I want to check it out from over there so we can see the wheel as well. But let's go down and take a look on the inside. I'll show you what I did in there. Added a little bit more detail on the floor. Because I figured the floor inside this place is probably going to be pretty dirty. So I replaced a lot of the spruce slabs with the coarse, oh, coarse dirt. I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy. Where are we? Here we are. Let's fix that. Okay. Yeah, just so it has a little bit of variation in there. Looks nice and dirty. Very cool. Um, I brought the row of logs all the way around. I brought it in by one block because this top part was looking funky. And then uh, I added some slabs around it, sort of like how we do on the outside of the buildings. I think it looks nice. Got a log in here. Like, this is the next up. The next log in line. <laughs> or maybe that one was cut and it's a stack of four little ones. I don't know. Whatever. So, yeah. Add some tracks here. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's the lumber mill right there. Got some some stacks over here waiting to get cut up. A few stumps. There's our wheel. I'm going to go swim over here now. Ugh. I need to get... What is it where you can run in the water? Depth Strider. I need to get Depth Strider because... Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Let's go up. Let's see what it looks like from above. That is cool. Ah! <laughs> I am very happy with it. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm using the course. There we go. Let's get up here. Take a... Yeah, that's nice. Very cool. And we still have enough space in here so the boats can get into the dock. And yeah. Awesome. So now I've got all my wood storage, a place for my, my wood to be stored. And the next up, the next uh, item that needs storage is definitely going to be stone and iron and all that stuff. And a site. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the next thing. I think the, the masonry shop. Uh, but I think before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and build that lighthouse there. So I'll show you how I got all the uh, stuff organized real quick. It's not a big deal, but I'll show it to you anyway. I don't have any logs. So there's my oak, there's my dark oak, and my spruce. And that's all the wood I've got so far. And then this is all the, the random items. So let's go ahead and put the dark oak tree back there, and the dark oak wood, dark oak planks, and dark oak stairs, and we got some other stuff there. Okay. Peachy! I am super happy with the way this came out. I was kind of worried because the, uh, the wheel isn't really... Eh, eh. <laughs> but it goes with the rest of the build pretty, pretty well, so I'm happy with it. Anyway, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can see what happens in the next one where we build the lighthouse, I think. I think that's going to be the next thing. 
And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas of some things you'd like for me to build in here. And uh, I'll give it a gander and maybe it shall be done. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, y'all. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.